Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please make sure to subscribe now. You hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this without further ado guys let's jump into the video hi everyone isang panibagong monday morning discussion nga ang ali ko sa inyo for today how was your weekend i hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far now um yeah i'm back and like you see on the screens this is all about nursing test banking and for today we're gonna talk about or i'm gonna give you 10 sets of questions that could possibly come out on your upcoming um um, PNL eboard exam, and this is all about your community health nursing examination. All right. Now, if you haven't watched the other nursing test banking videos I created on my channel, which is, by the way, like tons, if not thousands of questions available all for you for free. I'll be putting the actual playlist link in the description box. That's nursing test banking playlist. Or whenever the icon button pops out, click the one out because I'll be putting it there too, together with the other playlists I have on my channel. Now, let me just grab this opportunity to thank you who's watching right now, who's listening right now, for keep on supporting, subscribing, and coming back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed and clicked the notification bell, please do so because we just hit 20,000 subscribers, more than 20,000 subscribers. And uh, I am so grateful for all of your, uh, for all of your support you guys now keep your likes coming keep commenting and keep sharing my videos because that will really help the channel to you know to to spread the news about my channel to to let everybody know that certain channels about nursing exist on youtube all right now let's proceed let me share to you the objectives for today's discussion. We only have two objectives. I'm going to provide and discuss to you board exam type of questions. And then I'm going to provide rationalization for each board exam type of questions. And if there's not, if there's anything that I want you to take note out from this um, sets of questions, that is the rationalization. Why? Because in order for you to understand really why, what is the answer, you have to know um, why is it the right answer. And these are some of the questions that come out or that came out from the previous board exam and you can possibly there's a big chances that these sets of questions you might encounter them in the upcoming board exam so you might as well get this 10 questions right i mean these 10 questions can make or break the score of your exam all right so let me provide to you the instructions for today's examination You'll be given 10 board exam type of questions. I'll be reading the questions and the choices for you. You have five seconds to answer each question. The answer is revealed instantly after each question with a rationalization. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Good luck, nurses. Now, I want you to take a deep breath because we're going to start the test by in a minute <laughs> we're gonna test the te we're gonna start the test right now board exam type of question number one in which step are plans formulated for solving community problems steps um the question is or th this question is really asking you in which steps steps of community planning or community organizing were plans formulated for solving community problems where are you gonna formulate the plans in the uh, phases or the strategies in approaching community problems is it a mobilization is it b community organization is it c follow-up slash extension or d core group formation your five seconds starts now Time is up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. It is letter B. Community organization. Why? Community organization is the step when community assemblies take place. During the community assembly, the people may opt to formalize the community organization and make plans for community action to resolve a community health problem. Are we clear? 
clear. For exam tough question number two, the public health nurse takes an active role in community participation. What is the primary goal of community or, um, organizing? You're asking, the question is asking you to give the primary goal of community organizing. Is it A, to educate the people regarding community health problems? B, to mobilize the people to resolve community health problems? C, to maximize the community's resource? in dealing with health problems or D, to maximize the community's resources in dealing with health problems. So five seconds starts right now. Time is up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. The answer to this question is letter D. To maximize the community's resources in dealing with health problems. Why? Community organizing is a developmental service with the goal of developing the people's self-reliance in dealing with community health problems. Self-reliance meaning they'll be able the community as a group, as a collective group, can stand on their own. Right? Right. In dealing with community health problems, A, B, and C are objectives of or uh, of contributory objectives to this goal. Umbrella effect, all right? Malino tayo doon? Malino. Let's proceed. Question number three. An indicator of success in community organizing is when people are able to, this is related to question number two, A, participate in community activities for the solution of a community problem, B, implement activities for the solution of the community problem, C, plan Plan activities for the solution of the community problem or D, identify the health problem as a common concern. Your five seconds starts right now. Time is up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A. Participate in community activities for the solution of a community problem. Why is this the right answer, nurses? Listen up. Participation in community activities in resolving a community problem may be an uh, may be in any of the processes mentioned in the other choices. Hence, the answer is letter A. Let's proceed. Board exams have question number four. Tertiary prevention is needed in which stage of the natural history of disease? When are you going? The question is this. When are you going to um, expect tertiary prevention in history, uh, in the stages of natural disease? That's the question. Is it a pre uh, pathogenesis? Is it B pathogenesis? D uh, prodromal prodromal or determina I have to say that one more time I could probably butcher that word but your five seconds starts right now time is up you guys now just in case that you find my pace a little bit uh, faster than usual you might actually want opt out to pause this video and think about the answer first write your answer on the piece of paper and then comment it down in the comment section i would really like to evaluate the scores of my students all right so the answer to this is letter d terminal why is this the right answer? Listen up. Tertiary prevention involves rehabilitation prevention of permanent disability and disability limitation appropriate for convul uh, convulsance and disabled complicated cases and the terminally ill or those patients in the terminal stage of disease. All right. Kung hospital setting, palliative care. All right. So let's proceed. Board exam type question number five. Isolation of a child with measles belongs to what level of prevention? The question is this. Level of prevention, if you put a patient, a child who is diagnosed with measles, what level of prevention is that? That's the question. Is it A, primary? Is it B, secondary? Is it C, intermediate? Or D, tertiary? Your five seconds starts right now. Time is up, you guys. That's the sound. All right. So the answer is letter A, primary. Remember, you guys, the purpose of isolating a client with a communicable disease is to protect those who are not sick. 
specific disease prevention. That's what we call it. All right. Let's proceed. We're halfway through the test for today's video. Now, I want to make sure that you guys are following. You guys breathing, You're still alive. Very good. You got this. All right, body time to have question number six. On the other hand, Operation Timbang is what? Is blank prevention. That's the question. Have you heard about Operation Timbang? This is common in the Philippines for those uh, rural areas when they found out that there's increased number of malnourished children. Is it A, primary, B, secondary, inter uh, C, intermediate, or D, tertiary? You're asking about the level of prevention here. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up, you guys. What is the answer? Very good. It is letter B, secondary. Why? Operation Timbang is Timbang is done to identify members of the susceptible population who are malnourished. Just like I said earlier, its purpose is early diagnosis and subsequent prompt treatment. Hence, the answer is letter B. Next, board exam type question number seven. Which type of a family nurse contact will provide you with the best opportunity to observe family dynamics? Is it a clinic consultation? Is it B, group conference? Is it C, home visit? Or D, written communication? Remember that the question is asking you for the best opportunity to observe family dynamics. Where are you going to find that? Your five seconds starts now. Time is up, you guys. The answer is letter. Very good. C. Home visit. Diba ginagawa natin to sa community? Dynamics of family relationships can best be observed in the family's natural environment, which is the home. Period. Next, question number eight. The typology of family nursing problem is used in the statement of nursing diagnosis in the care of families. The youngest child of the Del Rosarios or Del uh, de los Reyes family has been diagnosed as mentally retarded. This is classified as a classification of a family who's diagnosed or it runs in their blood to have uh, mental retardation. How do you classify this? That's the question. Is it a health threat? Is it B, health deficit? Is it C, foreseeable crisis? Or D, stress point? Your five seconds starts now. Time is up, you guys. Very good. What is the answer? Letter B. Let me explain to you why. Health deficit. Failure of a family member to develop according to what is expected as in mental, as in mental retardation is a health deficit. That's the question and that is the answer. <laughs> Last two questions make this one count. Question number nine. The De Los Reyes couple have a six-year-old child entering school for the first time. The De Los Reyes family has a... That's a question. So the, the question is as, actually asking you what type of um, uh, situation does the De Los Reyes family is in? Is it a health threat? Is it B, health deficit? Is it C, foreseeable crisis? Or D, stress point? This is related to question number eight. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up, you guys. What is the answer? The answer to this one, hindi na po health deficit. This is foreseeable crisis. Why? Entry of a six-year-old into school is an anticipated period period of unusual demand on the family. So there's a foreseeable crisis that can occur considering that the six-year-old child is diagnosed with mental retardation. Anything could happen, which we don't know. That's why it's called foresee uh, foreseeable, foreseeable crisis. All right. Last question for today's examination. Make it count. Question number 10. Which of the following is an advantage of a home visit? Advantage. 
of home visit? That's the question. Is it A, it allows the nurse to provide nursing care to a greater number of people? Is it B, it provides an opportunity to the or, uh, to do first hand appraisal of the home situation? D, uh, C, it allows sharing of experiences among people with similar health problems? Or D, it develops the family's initiative in providing for health needs of its member? Your five seconds starts now. Time is up, you guys. What is your answer? Very good. Letter B. It provides an opportunity to do first hand appraisal of the home situation. Choice A is not correct since a home visit requires that the nurse spend so much time with the family. Choice C is an advantage of a group conference, while choice D is a true of a clinic consultation. Hence, the answer is letter B. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics you want us to do. Comment it down below, including your scores for today's examination. Please watch out for the upcoming uploads that we're going to be doing this week. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a great week ahead. Uh, ahead of all of you. Now, help me out. Spread the news about my channel. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gava except for my TikTok account. And um, yeah, don't forget to follow and give a like of my Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. And I'll see you again. Tulungan nyo na nga ako. Pamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sera. Pinakabago, pinaka-fresh, at ang pinaka-libreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. I'll see you again next time. Have a good one.